Hey, it's Pilke. So about two hours ago, uh, as of like 4 a.m., Nintendo just dropped some news regarding the paintbrush and apparently a fair bit of anarchy as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the English translation, or I guess the Platoon of America, does not have its post up yet. So we're going to go ahead and just take things off while Oatmeal Dome here. Thank you, by the way, for doing this. Uh, <laughs> but Oatmeal Dome posts, uh, says the paintbrush will be added in Sizzle Season 2023. Its first swing takes some time to finish, but further swings are not affected. Each swing also has a large range sub weapon is a curling bomb and special is wave breaker now i'm not gonna lie that's pretty good now i do have a video coming out uh in a few hours that is basically about me trying to predict the kits for Sizzle Season. I didn't give it that at all. I gave it, I'm pretty sure, Sprinkler and Kraken, which isn't that uh, bad, but um, I think this is, such a, it, this is such a way better kit. But you know, that video's coming out in a few hours. Stay tuned for that if you want to check that out. Um, but you know, the Curling Bomb and Wave Breaker, that's actually fairly good. And they actually do have some footage here on the officials on the Twitter page showing off Painverse. So we'll go and check that out now. Fairly large range too, admittedly. It's like it's at least a range of a wiper, I wanna say. Wait, that, is that a two-shot? Oh my god, it's a two-shot. Wait what? Sorry the Twitter quality is like making it worse by the way, uh, but that is interesting. So, okay, the way I'm starting to view this weapon is that it's just, um, this weapon is kind of like wiper, or if it had the, um, the swing capacity of stamper and the rolling ability of a brush. That's interesting, but you know, that's a two-shot weapon. Well, that's interesting. Also, uh, I think Heavy has Kraken, which is pretty interesting. But hang on, let's go ahead and take this, take this back real quick. So, okay, so yeah, obviously it has curling and wave that's like the obvious thing, but this right here, how many shots is that? One, two, okay. One, two. Hmm. That's, that's four shots right there. Yeah, no, that was three to four shots. You can hear the sound effect there. That was three to four shots to kill. Okay, so this is very weird. Okay, so I, I'm thinking this weapon has to have really bad fall off damage because the rate of fall off damage is pretty bad. In the earlier, in the, in the first trailer, right, we saw it get first a four shot kill and then a three shot kill. But now we're seeing it do a two shot kill, which means that this weapon does at least 60 damage. But that means that if it's doing at least four shots of damage at a pretty at a, a longer range that means this weapon falls off from at least 60 to 40 damage at least 60 to 40 within the span of like a few um few meters or inches whatever you want to call that that is interesting okay i'm actually excited for this weapon now i'm, a, I'm more excited for this weapon than i am for s blast because s blast got butchered with his kid uh, i know in yesterday's video kind of said that s blast wasn't that bad but honestly they gave it the worst sub in the game mixed with like the worst special in the game and uh that's not a great combination on a great weapon i mean this is great though curling in a wave on paintbrush that is really good now we do have other bits of news that came out uh first of which regarding anarchy says next season your power will now be shown in the match menu when playing with friends in anarchy battle open remember power is your raw glico 2 rating which the game uses to estimate your skill level and match make you with similar skilled players um so yeah i guess now your score your anarchy score i think is what it said uh no your power will be shown okay that's interesting that is interesting when playing with friends though, so that means that we get to see everyone's power that's in the lobby. Which means that for this general team that's right here, um, 1800 for Veronica, 2000 for Stephanie, and then Hiro uh, doesn't appear to have a score. That, that's pretty cool. That's, pre that's a pretty cool way to see that. Uh, not a bad little change. And then we have last change, last little patch here that says, next season you'll be awarded trophies when playing as a group in Anarchy Battle Open depending on your highest power. The change gear, then go button will also be made available after a match. Are you kidding me? Why was this not in the base game? Why was this not in the base game already? Uh, basically, Anarchy Battle Open is the new League Battle. So they basically said, hey, we're introducing League in the form of challenges. Psych! Challenges are only going to be open for a limited time. Um, so we're making Anarchy Battle Open League. Uh, uh, okay, I mean, at least they've added League, but uh, alright, um, that is interesting, I guess. So you can still play Anarchy Battle Open solo, it seems, to gain up points. But if you want to play League with friends and play it like League, you have that opportunity. Okay, that is, that's interesting. I'm not, I'm not against that idea, but I just 
wish they handled League in general just overall better because League right now is challenges. Like that's how they worded it. League battles is challenges, but challenges are only open like what? Three rotations on two given days? Like that's not, that's not League battles. That's an LTM mode. And that's not even a good one because it's not even open for 48 hours straight. You know, like it's so annoying. Genuinely, I hope that Nintendo takes a lot of advice from the community and makes challenges either a permanent mode, uh, a random event mode, they just make it like a 24 or 48 hour thing, or maybe even like a week long thing. I think even think week long LTMs for this game would actually be beneficial to be honest. Honestly, I think if they just had done that, that would have been better, but uh, who am I to say? But um, yeah, no, that is all the news we have for today. Honestly, I think the most exciting part about this is by far Pain Rush. Not too much, not too exciting for today, to be honest. Um, just some general anarchy changes and Pain Brush, but a lot better than yesterday's news, which was S+. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Pain Brush. Do you guys think it'll be really good? Do you guys think it'll be really shite? I think it's gonna be a freaking amazing weapon. I cannot wait to get it in the game. I'm already working on a video right now where I have to play 100 matches with Octo Brush in preparation for this weapon. Stay tuned for that if I can get that finished in time. But anyway, so you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to subscribe as well. We are nearing 700 subs, so pretty soon I'm gonna be able to wear a maid outfit. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Kill.